residential sales comparison and income approach chapter six market conditions page 45 chapter six ending quiz this quiz has a total of nine questions there will be one question per page you must achieve 80 percent to pass this quiz start quiz number one two bedroom condos in the city sold for a median price of one hundred and eighty thousand four hundred and forty dollars nine months ago and the median price of those homes for the current month is two hundred and six thousand three hundred and ninety dollars what is the indicated average increase per month a eight percent b 1.1 percent C, 1.4% or D, 1.6%. which gave me like, I don't know, was it like 25000 or some shit? And then I divided that by the amount of months, which gave me two, like 2,883.3. 
And the final solution was to take that 2883.3 and divide it by the bigger number, which was the earlier sale of 180,440, which gave me 0 0.0159. So the final piece of the puzzle is you move the decimal over two places, which leaves you with a 1.59. You round it to 1.6. D, final answer. Number two, an element of comparison in the sales comparison approach. Comparable properties can be adjusted for differences in the motivations of either the buyer or a seller in a transaction is the definition of A, market conditions, B, duress, C, conditions of sale, or D, property rights conveyed. I'm going to go see conditions of sale. Number three, you live in a summer resort town. Real estate prices typically drop 15% during autumn and winter. A house sold for $250,000 in July. What would it sell for in December? A, $170,000. B, $287,500. C, $235,000. Or D, $212,500. I think it's 
the same thing, but you add the 20%. Okay, so let's go $200,000. And multiply it by twenty percent. So zero point two zero equals forty thousand dollars. So uh, add the appreciation. So that's going to be two hundred and forty thousand dollars. C. Final answer. Number five. Fannie Mae expects that an appraiser should provide which date or dates for each comparable sale? A. Sales contract only. B. Closing date only. C. Sales contract and the closing date. Or D. Sales contract or closing date. C, sales contract and the closing date. Not 100% on that one. Number six, your subject is located in an area where property values have been rising consistently at 1.5% a month for the past 12 months. You have located a comparable that is practically identical to your subject. It sold seven months ago for $200,000. How much should you adjust the price? A, $17,500. B, $21,000. C, $22,500. Or D, $24,000. to do is take 1.5 percent times that by seven for the seven months let's try this seven multiplied by is it 0 0.15 no it's 15 1.5 let's try that equals 10.5 Okay, this is just a, a hypothesis. 10.5, and let's, I think there's two ways to do this. How should you adjust the price? 200,000. I think what we can do is take a 200,000, multiply it by point uh, let's try that one, 21,000. Okay, so I multiply.
multiplied it by 0 0.105. I'm not 100% if that was correct, but it, it gave me a good number, 21,000. Right? So let's add the 21,000 to the 200,000, which gives us 20, 200,000 and 20. $221,000. Let's see if that's an answer. Fuck you. Nope. Actually, though, check it out. How much should you adjust the price? That goes back a step. So, it was $21,000, and that is answer B. That was the adjustment. Okay. Number seven. Which of the following would not be classified as a short-term trend for market cycles? A, available, availability of financing. B, interest rates. C, income levels. Or D, loan-to-value ratio. This one's kind of tricky. One of the, which of the following would not be classified as a short-term trend from market cycles? Short-term trend. I'm not sure. I'm going to go loan to value ratios. I probably got this one wrong. Number eight, market condition adjustments are also commonly known as A, time adjustments, B, clock adjustments, C, money market assessments, or D, value of duration adjustments. I'm going to go A, time adjustments. And lastly, number nine, your research of a comparable sale reveals that the purchase price was $200,000. But the purchaser realized the property needed extensive repairs to the mechanical systems. The estimated cost to cure the problems was $15,000, but the actual cost turned out to be $20,000. What should you do? A. Adjust the property sale price by $20,000. B. Adjust the property sale price by $15,000. C, make no adjustment, or D, adjust the property sale price by $5,000, the amount of the excess cost. I'm going to go B, adjust the property sale price by $15,000. Assessment completed. Finish. You passed. You got an 88.9%. So remember, number one, two-bedroom condos in the city sold for a median price of $180,440 nine months ago. And the median price of those homes for the current month is $206,390. What is the indicated average increase per month? You said 1.6%, and that was correct. Number two, an element of comparison in the sales comparison approach. Comparable properties can be adjusted for differences in the motivations of either the buyer or a seller in the transaction is the definition of. You said conditions of sale, and that was correct. Number three, you live in a summer resort town. Real estate prices typically drop 15% during autumn and winter. A house sold for $250,000 in July. What would it sell for in December? You said $212,500, and that was correct. Number four, you live in a winter resort town. Real estate prices typically rise 20% during autumn and winter. A house sold for $200,000 in July. What would it sell for in January? You said $240,000, and that is correct. Number five, Fannie Mae expects that the appraiser should provide which date or dates for each comparable sale. You said sale contract and the closing date, and that was correct. Number six, 
Your subject is located in an area where property values have been rising consistently at 1.5% a month for the past 12 months. You have located a comparable that is practically identical to your subject. It sold seven months ago for $200,000. How much should you adjust the price? You said $21,000 and that was correct. Number seven, which of the following would not be classified as a short-term trend for market cycles? You said loan to value ratios and that was incorrect. The correct answer was income levels. Income levels would tend to be a longer term trend than the other options. So remember that. And lastly, all right, number eight, market condition adjustments are also commonly known as you said time adjustments and that was correct. And lastly, number nine, your research of a comparable sale reveals that the purchase price was $200,000, but the purchaser realized the property needed extensive repairs to the mechanical systems. The estimated cost to cure the problems was $15,000, but the actual cost turned out to be $20,000. What should you do? You said adjust the property sale price by $15,000, and that is correct. Continue. Residential sales comparison and income approaches. Help. Documents. Email instructor. CH7 location adjustments. PG1 overview of Chapter 7. Notes. Leave a comment. Overview of Chapter 7. In this chapter, we will discuss location adjustments. This is the sixth element of comparison when making adjustments in the seven-step sequence for residential properties. We will review and explain the definitions of neighborhood, district, and market area. There will be an extensive discussion of various kinds of factors that may influence values in market areas. Market area boundaries will be described and a procedure will be suggested to undertake when determining these boundaries. Nine different categories of site factors that may be present in a market area will be presented. Finally, the process of entering a location adjustment on the URAR will be illustrated. End of page. Chapter start. 41%. Residential sales comparison and income approaches. Help. Documents. Email instructor. CH7 location adjustments. PG2 learning objectives for Chapter 7. Notes. Leave a comment. Learning objectives for Chapter 7. Upon completion of the chapter, the participants will be able to define and differentiate among neighborhood, district, and market area. Recognize market factors that may influence value. Describe market area boundaries. Recognize site factors that may influence value. End of page. Chapter start. 41%. It's the biggest difference between real property and other major investments. Unlike a yacht, motorhome, or 10 karat diamond, real estate is fixed in location and immovable. Location always has a great influence on the value of real property. It is a prisoner of its environment, so what goes on around it makes a difference. You've heard the old saying that the three most important factors in real estate are location, location, location. The saying sticks because it's true. Sometimes just a matter of a street, one way or the other, changes the value of a property. And clearly, a home located in a secluded community of million dollar homes will be worth much more than a similar home in an old, rundown neighborhood. The concept of real estate value being inextricably linked to location comes to us from the economist Alfred Marshall. 
In 1890, Marshall published Principles of Economics, in which he described urban situation value, the main criteria for urban real estate value. His concepts were used as the basis for modern valuation approaches by appraisal organizations when they were formed in the 1930s.